I would like to talk about um, people having headaches, sometimes very, very severe headaches, migraines, um, shoulder pain, back pain, lower back pain, and um, how that can, and in many, many cases, that's come from a misaligned jaw or just basically a few teeth missing and misaligned. Maybe there was a car accident at one point and nobody realized that the jaw got misaligned, you know, the hinges here or whatever it may be. Lots of people call it DMJ. Anyway, um, I cannot pronounce the real word for it. But uh, it's too big for me. But um, you know, it's it's the char the, the the joints of your chars are kind of like misaligned, and that might come from various ways: uh, missing teeth, uh, grown bad in the first place, uh, or having had some type of uh, uh, impact, some type of trauma. Now. Um, Dentists are very good at fixing that stuff, and most people don't realize it that a trip to the dentist could save them the neck pain, the, the, the lower shoulder pain, and uh, even their migraine. Um, tell me a little bit about it, and um, and tell me how you really go about fixing that and what all is needed, uh, Dr. Limoncelli. Well, um, I think the word that you have difficulty in pronouncing is MPD syndrome. It's a myofascial pain dysfunction syndrome. And it comes uh, mostly from uh, uh, temporomandibular joint disease, or TMJ. Ah, that's, that's the one. I mean, actually, now you just threw another one at me, the first one, <laughs> yes, and this one. All this right. is the one I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, malocclusion can be uh, uh, one of the main factors uh, that cause it. Uh, either Mal missing Mal teeth. Malocclusion meaning it, it, it doesn't fit together well. That's the, right. Your the, teeth the, the, don't the, bite together the way they should. Mm -hmm. uh, either the teeth are crooked and uh, you're not biting in the proper position or uh, the bite is uh, so far off that it causes a strain on the joint. Um, people that have missing teeth in the back of their mouth where they have to chew mostly on the front teeth have to jut their jaw forward in order to do it. Uh, this creates a strain on the joint. Uh, also, um, if the patient is young enough, a lot of this can be corrected by seeing an orthodontist where they can put braces on their teeth, straighten them out, and uh, a lot of times the condition goes away. Uh, as the patient gets older and they don't want to have orthodontic treatment done, um, different types of dental appliances can be made. Um, they can get uh, fixed bridge work or dentures to replace the missing teeth, and that sometimes helps. Uh, for patients that have all of their teeth uh, and still have this problem, uh, night guard appliances can be made, which is a little wafer that goes into the mouth that they sleep with, uh, and it sort of breaks them of a destructive habits that they might have, like uh, bruxing or clenching their teeth while they're sleeping at night. Uh, patients that brux or clench their teeth while they're sleeping create a lot of strain on the joints overnight over a period of six hours uh, while they're sleeping. The night guard appliances help to uh, correct that. Uh, also, uh, in the extreme cases, uh, surgery may be indicated where if the joints are severely damaged, they can be surgically replaced. Um, and the joints, you're talking about those joints here? Yes, exactly. They replace those joints the same as they do in any other joint in the body, uh, you know, you, with a uh, titanium um, uh, artificial, uh, artificial joint. Just like they use for an implant also, right? An implant, just, uh, yeah, just the same metal that they use in implants, uh, knee ooh. joints or uh, elbow joints. They have them for the jaw also. I have heard that uh, the, this particular joint, however, is the most complicated joint in the body. Is that true? It is because of its range of motion. It's not just a hinge joint. Uh, you know, it's a sliding hinge joint. It slides forward, it goes back, it slides from side to side. There are not many other joints in the body that go through that range of motion. I see. Okay. So... So basically, those are the activities uh, which which you do. Now, I also have heard that um, you know because 
you said like six hours of clinching or anyway, so 24 hours the mouth is not aligned well, the muscles have to adjust like everywhere else. Like for instance, if a, if a person has a little bunion, he might walk a little crooked because it hurts. And I know that from my father because that's uh, what happened ever since I knew him. And um, so he walks a little crooked. And then next thing you know is the knees may get out of alignment. You may need, need knee surgery simply because you didn't fix your bunion. Uh, and walked crooked, or maybe you had a longer or, 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 or leg than another one and didn't wear orthotics, whatever it might, might have been. At the same time, it moves all the way up to the, to the hips, uh, lower back, and it can move all the way up. And at the same time here, this apparently can move down, and for sure it gives you all this tension. Once you have this tension... Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. Uh, it's a, it should be treated as, as a multidisciplinary approach where uh, a consultation with a chiropractor may be of a big help in, in alleviating some of the pain uh, as well. I see. And, and to get it like, so to say, so the chiropractor, you know, because lots of people do go for headaches to a chiropractor and chiropractors yes. do fix DMJ um, just like you, like you guys do. But what you're saying is a little bit that actually the combination of both of them would work even better. Because the muscle yes. has been for years and years in tension, it needs relief. Because of it, there might be now already muscles in the lower back or in the upper back which are totally out. Uh, and even though you fix this, now the muscle here is out, so now it, it, now it originates from the back and goes upward. So yes, you fixed it, but because everything else was already so tweaked and twisted and if that didn't get fixed, you didn't help all that much. That's true. That's why it should be multidisciplinary, where a chiropractor should uh, come into the picture. Also, uh, they've uh, they've been pretty helpful to a lot of my patients. Yeah, I mean, it looks to me like even the podiatrist, because like um, as I said, um, you know, it, it goes up and down, and the feet, uh, you know, go up to the head. The head goes down to the feet, and a person that's who looks like maybe has uneven feet and maybe that's what made his yeah, it, it creates a postural change it creates a postural change so yeah. the guy the guy now he has a problem in it with his with his uh, bite because of missing teeth and things at the same time he could have a problem with the feet and 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 he burns the candle at both sides right okay I see. So, um, all right. So you, um, okay. So, so basically, a person comes to you. You fix that. You also think that you should go to a chiropractor and and get it fixed there. And at the same time, sometimes when a chiropractor fixes it, he will be, I suppose, wise to uh, uh, tell his patients to say, "Look, go and check a, a dentist and see whether your mouth is okay. Otherwise, I fixed it, but the mouth is going to throw it out again." Uh, it works both ways. That's true. Good. Well, anyway, um, because lots of people have back pain, headache, shoulder pain, um, and, uh, you know, it's really amazing how much the mouth uh, uh, affects uh, the whole body. Um, you know, uh, it's just amazing. So, good. Well, thanks for letting us know about that. Maybe it helps some people to get rid of their uh, pains by actually, you know, uh, visiting a... Uh, at least a set of three, maybe there's something somebody else needed, but you know, visit the dentist, visit the chiropractor, check out your feet, so that like your structure, because all of them have to do with the structure and the spine, so that they get uh, aligned. Yes. So it's really that simple. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lamoncelli. You're welcome.